eight. And then let's look at number nine. Number nine is asking us, 64 is four times the difference between Sarah's age, A, and 44. Assume, I'm guessing that's the word, assume Sarah is older than 44. Write an equation to determine Sarah's age and then find Sarah's age. Okay, so this here would be, this number nine here. So it says 64 is four times the difference between Sarah's age, age, I'm assuming this is A, and 44. Oh, oh what did I do? Forty-four, and then assume Sarah is older than forty-four. So it says you write an equation to determine Sarah's age and then find Sarah's age. Okay, so in order for us to to, to uh, find Sarah's age here, we are going to have to create an algebraic expression for Sarah's age. Right. So we can say we can say here let x equals Sarah's age here. So we have we know we know that let because that's our unknown here. And it says it says here 64 is four times the difference between Sarah's age, uh, which is now x and 44, right? So we're talking about the difference between Sarah's age and 44 here. It's uh, we're going to use subtraction, right? So we have here this is x minus 44 here is the difference between Sarah's age and 44, x minus 44, obviously. And it says here four times the difference, right? So it says four times the uh, four times the difference here. So I'm gonna to have to write a four here, and this would equal 64, right? So this here equals 64. So this here is our algebraic expression uh, for Sarah's age here, right? So it says four times the difference here. So the difference here is x minus 44, um, which is the age and 44. Four times the difference is here. I'm multiplying um, this entire x minus 44 by four here, and this would equal uh, 64, obviously. So now what we can do is we solve for x, right? We wrote, we, we've written an algebraic expression here. And let's just simply solve for x here, right? So we have um, four times x minus 44 equals 64. We can get rid of the four by dividing four by both sides, right? So if we divide by four on the left side, we're simply left with here x minus 44. This would equal 64 over 4, right? And x minus 44 here would equal 64, uh, sorry, 64 divided by 4 would equal, I believe it's 18. Let me just double check that on my calculator. 64, or it's 16, sorry. Yes, it's 16, my bad. 16 here. And then what we can do is we can move uh, 44 over to the right-hand side by adding both sides by 44, right? So if we add both sides by 44, this left side simply becomes x. And we'll have 16 plus 44 here. So x here would equal 16 plus 44 equals 60. So which means I know that Sarah's age here is 60. So now I've solved the problem here. So my algebraic expression, so this here was part A. This here was my algebraic expression. Or this here is an equation, actually, not uh, two algebraic expressions here. So this here is equation, and B is this would equal Sarah's age here. So Sarah is 60 years old. And as you can see, so the age of Sarah here is 60. That's good. So they basically did the exact same thing as I did. And they used uh, algebra to figure out that Sarah is here is equal 60. So therefore, age of Sarah here is not 30 here. I think this is a misprint. It's 60 years old here. So I'm going to say, I'm going to say solution is incorrect because they actually wrote the final answer as 60 and not 30 and not 60. So the solution, solution is perfect, except the, the except the last statement. Uh, the age of Sarah is 60 years old. The 60 years.
So we're going to say it's incorrect just because the last part here, they didn't write, um, they didn't write it at six years old just to uh, help improve the system here. Thank <phone rings> you.